And Canada lost one of its legendary journalists. Peter Worthington, who was 86, was a veteran newspaper man whose globetrotting reporting not only informed Canadians, it won him multiple awards. And many are remembering him today as a fearless witness to history. Here's Mike Drolet. It was a pivotal moment of the 20th century. JFK assassin Lee Harvey Oswald gunned down by Jack Ruby. And Peter Worthington was a first-hand witness. That's him to the left, close enough that he felt the pop of the handgun. Peter Worthington, when you say legend, you sort of think, well, everybody uses the word legend. This is, you know, this is true. After serving in the Second World War in Korea, he turned to journalism, but stayed on the front lines. In the 50s and 60s, if there was a war, Worthington was there for the Toronto Telegram. When the Telegram folded in 1971, he became one of the founding editors of the Toronto Sun, along with John Downing. I often used to think he was harder on his uh, friends than he was sometimes on his enemies. As a columnist, Worthington was relentless. If he was passionate about an issue, he'd write about it again and again and again. He pushed the envelope, never caring what anybody else thought, and more often than not, went against the grain while loving every minute of it. We're on a cruise ship in the Thames. Somebody dared him to jump into the Thames, so he dove down into the Thames beside the props turning of the cruise ship. The captain, I think, wanted to take him to jail. We all, the rest of us, said, oh, that's just Peter being Peter. It's much more fun being uh, fighting back and kicking back yeah. than going and swimming downstream. Up until a few weeks ago, Worthington was still writing his column. 86 years old and full of fight. A staph infection put him in hospital, and with his family around him, he passed away last night. Even on his deathbed, he was cracking jokes, <laughs> and the nurses and doctors, some of them weren't used to this, and they sort of looked in horror until Peter says a joke. <laughs> his final joke, he wrote his own obituary for The Sun, not letting anyone else scoop him on his own story. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.